Hi there, thanks for joining in and welcome to Code Box. In this tutorial, we will walk through quick examples of resizing images in PHP. If you want to follow along, the code download is on the Code Box website. Link in the description box below. Before we start, please make sure that the GD extension is enabled. Open the php.ini file. Search for extension equals gd. Simply remove the semicolon in front. Take note that prior to PHP 8, this will be GD2 instead. Part 1. Resizing a JPEG image. First, let us start by defining the source image, and where to save it. Then, get the source image dimensions. Follow up with calculating the new resize dimensions. In this example, we will shrink the image down to 50% but take note that it is possible to enlarge the image too. With that, we can now create an image object of the source image. Resizing the image is a little roundabout. We create an empty image object first. Then literally copy the source image onto the empty image object. The parameters are rather confusing, but the first two are the destination and source images. Which translated to our resized and original images. The next four parameters are the X and Y coordinates of the resized and original images. Since we are copying everything, these will all originate at zero. Then, the resized image width and height. Lastly, the original image width and height. With that, we can now save the resized image into a file. Optionally, you may also want to manually destroy the image objects to free up some memory. Part 2. Resizing a transparent image. If you are working with images with transparent layers, some changes need to be done. In this example, we will work with a PNG file. For the source image, we will use create from PNG instead. Next, we need to set the alpha blending mode on the resized image. Lastly, use the respective image PNG function to save the resized file. That's all for the image resizing, but take note of the file size for the resized PNG. The GD extension actually does a pretty bad job in optimizing the file size. This is not sponsored, but there are plenty of online services. Check out TinyPNG, and they have a developer API that you can explore for free. With that, we have come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want to learn more.
See you in the next one.